In this video, we're gonna be going over a big new update for subforms inside of Zoho CRM. Uh, before we jump in, I do wanna ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. So it really does help us out. And if you do need help on your Zoho install, just head over to zanata.com, click on book a meeting and we'll be chatting in no time. So without any further ado, let us jump right on in here we're going to be covering an update rolling out for subforms inside of Zoho CRM. Um, this is a pretty big update. It's one that I've actually been waiting for for quite a long time. Um, really what they're doing here is they're adding the ability to add rows, edit rows, and remove rows directly on the details page. They're also adding the ability to filter, sort, and clone those rows to make things a lot easier to work with. So luckily, I have a demo account here that has not been updated to this new method so far. So I can actually show you what the old version looks like. So here I've got my subform. I've got a couple rows inside it. But what you'll see is that I can't really edit anything on here unless I go into the edit page up here in the top right and then scroll back down. And now I have that ability to change a product, change a quantity, really do whatever I need to do using my subform. Um, well, that has always been a bit of a thorn in the side for people that use subforms often because really everything else on this page you can do from this detail view, right? Where I'm not in the edit page. And so it's always been a bit of an annoyance because you get down to your subform, you realize you need to change something, you click on edit, you scroll back down to the subform, you make the change, you click save, then you move on. Sure would be nice to just make that change right here on the subform. Good news is that is exactly what has been updated uh, by Zoho with this update that'll be rolling out soon. So here, if we take a look at the image, what they've done is essentially add the ability to hover over the left-hand side and get this little edit pencil, which will then basically give us the ability to change anything about that row that we would like to change. Here, you know, we're looking, one of the big use cases of these is for, you know, products, right? Maybe you're, uh, you're listing down some things you're going to quote or that you're going to ship. And so being able to just change that quantity on the fly, add a discount, right? Whatever it may be, you're able to just make that change without having to go into the edit page to do so. We'll also have the ability to just add rows on the fly. Um, again, no need to go to edit. You can just be looking at your subform, click on add row type in whatever you need, and then boom, there it is immediately updated onto your subform. You'll see those subtotals are gonna refresh as well with the new values so that you'll be able to just immediately see the outcome of whatever the addition is that you've just made. They've also added the ability to clone rows, which actually didn't exist before. If we go into this edit page, we'll see there's really no way to clone this. I can remove it, I can reorder it, um, I can change it from here but the ability to clone is actually totally new. Um, not everyone's gonna need to clone rows. This is really a case where maybe you have like five or six different tasks and you wanna clone them, set some different due dates, set some different priorities, maybe make small changes. Um, then we'll also be able to delete rows just directly from that uh, details page without having to go into the edit page. Now, that covers it for kind of the adding, removing, editing rows. They did also sneak in another really nice update here, which is the ability to filter and sort your subform rows. So we can see here, they've got this little filter in the top right. They're adding one in saying, hey, show me the ones where quantity is bigger than one, right? And then it's just gonna filter down your subform right away. You know, I could think about if we look at how my deal is set up, Maybe I want to filter and see only category A or category B products. Um, we're just able to, on the fly, just take care of that and look at the exact data that we need. Similarly with sorting, if we take a look at this little view, you'll be able to come in, sort things by price, by quantity, alphabetically, really whatever your preference is as you are working with your subform. Again, just all from the detail view without having to click in edit and really do any of that. So here we see they're going to sort it for, uh, you know, least to most expensive in their subform. These updates, these are awesome. These are things we've been waiting for for quite a while. Do want to give Zoho kind of a shout out for getting this one done. Last year, they did a lot of work on a lot of shiny updates around AI and machine learning and all of that. But this year, I've noticed they've been doing a great job at knocking out a lot of this core functionality stuff, right? We're like, yeah, 
a little machine learning model to read the sentiment of emails and put a smiley face is cool, but this is the type of thing that people are going to use every single day, right? If they're a sub form user inside of CRM. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Uh, they are going to be rolling this out in a phased manner, which means like, you know, 10% of people get it, 20% of people get it. They really just do that so they can make sure that there aren't any unintended bugs or issues and they can catch those early as they start the rollout process. If this is something that you are extremely eager to use, most of the time what I've seen, if they are doing this phased rollout, if you reach out to support at ZohoCRM.com, give them a link to this article so they know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, that link will be in the description below. Then oftentimes they'll go ahead and roll it out for you as well. So if you're seeing this and you're like, wow, that is going to save me a ton of time, um, go ahead and just shoot them an email and they should be able to get it activated for you. But with that, I think we are all good for today. Again, just covering this huge update to subforms, hoping that you found this useful. Uh, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe down below. That really does help us out. If this sparked any questions, uh, feedback, or additional video requests, leave those in the comments section below as we do try to read and respond to as many of those as we can get to on a weekly basis. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.